All right, friends, welcome back to our Onyx Basics tutorials. I'm David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in this video, we're going to talk about Dylos and run through the very basics of pixel mapping here in Onyx. Um, if you have anything up, clear it out. And let's go ahead to the first bank, to the main faders, 1 through 10. And we're just going to bring up the intensity for all of our fixtures. Bring up a position cue. Bring up some colors. Okay? Awesome. Q2 and colors looks great. Doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, we're just using it to show you how Dialos works. So Dylos works primarily through the 2D plan view in Onyx, okay? You have these different views available uh, that you can build, and in the demo show, there are different views actually already built, okay? Now, this view has a zone in it already, a Dylos zone, um, and so if we go into edit mode here, the way to add a zone is to press add, go to zone fixtures, if you haven't done this in your current show file, you will have to go ahead and press um, Enable Dialos Support. You'll watch a little ticker go across, which we're, uh, we can show you right here. And then you'll have the option to place a new or an existing zone that you deleted from a 2D plan uh, would show up into place. Then you press Place Zone Fixture. You draw the zone. You don't have to get it perfect on the first try. It shows up, and then you can use the arrows. Oops, excuse me. Moved it there. You can use the arrows. It's on top of the other one, so it's being a little fussy. But you can use the arrows there to resize it at any time. As you do resize it, it happens live. If it's playing media, those changes happen live, etc. Okay. Now, in this case, we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to go to the Dylos window here. And we've got some different zones here. Now, this first one is called Stage, and it's over top of everything. Okay? Now, a couple things to notice. Uh, zone is a fixture, and it works like anything else in Onyx. They're stored in parameters. They can be stored in all the different fader types. It's really powerful what you can do. Everything that you work with in Dylos, uh, most, a lot of things can be worked with visually here in this, this window. But you can also work with them in all of the regular parameters. Okay, as well, and there are some things in the regular parameters that aren't in the graphical interface that's good to be aware of as well. Now, notice here, uh, the first thing is when I use Dialos, there's a ma master intensity for that zone. When I bring that up, notice how the regular parameters of the lights fade out. So it's kind of like a video switcher, like an AB, where you switch from regular to Dialos, and, and you can go back and forth with that intensity control. Okay, I like to store that on its own fader when I'm busking things live, and, and that allows me when I'm busking or punting uh, to be able to have stuff preloaded and push it in, pull it out, use it halfway, etc. Okay, so the, the basics of Dialos is I like to start with the intensity down, choose some media, so I just hit this picker here, or in this particular window we have the uh, zone composer at the top and the zone parameters at the bottom and the zone parameters window allows us to see all of our different media so let's just say we grab a color media here we'll just grab rainbow swirl sorry i scrolled down there and we bring that in okay now we see that rainbow swirl animation happening on the lights pretty simple we can change that to anything else we want Fade it in and out at will. And then we just record it to a queue. It really is that simple. Um, so we, we can literally just go, not delete, record. I'm just going to make it a regular queue. And then we can play it back. And as you can see, fades in, plays back the animation just as we see it. And so that's the really cool thing about Dylos is it's definitely a, a deep, uh, a deep thing. There's a lot that you can do with it, but the simple things are actually really simple. Okay, just to show you a couple other things, we still have our parameters shining through, and if we switch from media to generator here, 
a lot of these generators, such as the matrix, actually have a transparent background. And if we go, you can see that, uh, that the source here has transparency. If we go ahead to our main zone, and then we go ahead and set our opacity for our zone to zero. Now, the regular parameters, the colors uh, in this case that are coming through from the main cues actually shine through. And so that's really cool because your pixel map in that case doesn't have to completely take over what you're doing already. It can just organically kind of be a part of the look you already have on your stage. Okay. And so we really like the generators for that reason. Uh, clips, uh, video clips can have opacity as well. And if they do, they will show this little A in brackets. Okay. And that shows you that there's some transparency there and that that's going to be applied. Um, mostly it looks like with the factory content, that's mostly just the images. Um, but, um, I think if you add your own video, um, I'm pretty sure you can have alpha information in there depending on the file type. Okay. Um, but the generators, the generators kick butt because they can have that transparency. And so you could do something like this bouncing ball shooting across these lights here. Kind of cool. You can customize it and have more balls. Uh, more of those bouncing balls and it's like a chase on top of your lights but it's not like completely overtaking the look that's on stage it's just adding to it selectively okay so there's a lot in dialos including the mapping tab where you can actually go into a preset mode and go ahead and apply say pan tilt yeah to the dialos parameters so if we do that real quick we can see we get this again with something hard edged it gets a little bit crazy but there's a lot of options there and uh, it gets really cool so let me just actually super quick go so i should be able to yeah set a lot of glow on these in which case it's a little smoother of a pan tilt effect being applied okay so dialos is a lot there's a lot there but this video should get you the basics, should get you playing around with it. And then we have more resources here uh, on other Dialos videos and inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs if you would need help. Now, this is the end of the Onyx Basics tutorials that we're covering right now here on the Learn Stage Lighting Onyx channel. But if you want more, be sure to subscribe here. We're going to be beefing up the amount of stuff on this channel. Lots of videos, lots of help. And if you are looking to get into Onyx or you're ready to upgrade or add to your hardware, hit us up over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We're the Onyx experts. We want to be the experts that get you the Onyx gear you need. Uh, we want to be your Onyx dealer. And if we can do that, we would love to help you. Um, you need to buy it somewhere. Why not from us? Okay. We'd love to help. And not only uh, can we get you all of the Onyx products and we're authorized dealers for Elation as well as many other brands, um, we, we can bundle in training with it. So if you're not a Learn Stage Lighting Ma Labs member, we can bundle that in. And so you can get the resources to dive deep, to be able to reference any feature in Onyx, see the tutorials, ask help in our forums from our professionals in there and uh, just you know, really get the most out of your purchase. So if that sounds great, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear, check out all of the Onyx hardware, check out the rest of the videos here and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Thanks for watching our Onyx basics. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm David again from Learn Stage Lighting. Have a great day.